As I've been out and about in the last couple of weeks, I've really noticed how spring has sprung here in the south of England. And everything is so fresh and green, including a very wide range of edible plants. I was inspired by a couple of recipes on a channel called Townsend's, which, if you haven't heard about it, is all about recreation of historical techniques, including a lot of 18th century recipes. So I was inspired by a couple of recipes for a green herb pie. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go out, we're going to pick some wild herbs, and then we'll come back and try and make a delicious pie.
So let's cut a slice of this pie and see what we've got in here then. The first slice does, sometimes doesn't come out all that cleanly, but let's have a look. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, it hasn't come out altogether cleanly, but we've got everything there. Yeah. So yeah, pres presentation not brilliant, but let's have a taste. So all those lovely herbs have cooked down. And we've got the sausage pieces there. And the egg is infused into all of the, the other ingredients and kind of scrambled as it's gone through. So let's give that a taste. It's gonna be quite hot. Mmm, that's really tasty. Hard to describe actually because all of those different herbs have added their own unique and subtle little flavours to the mix and so that's a really tasty pie it's not like a spinach tart well it's a bit like a spinach tart but it's got so many other dimensions of flavour in there yeah I'm really impressed with that recipe so there we go that's my herb pie based on the Townsend's recipe I'll put a link in the video description to the video where you can have a look at the original recipe for this on Townsend's if you do pop over there and you like the channel and I think you might do let them know Atomic Shrimp sent you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.